Good afternoon. How are you guys doing? Bonjour. That's all the French I got, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, it's a real pleasure to be here today and to be a part of this incredible event with all of you. Uh, just a quick introduction about who I am. My name is Brian. I live in New York City and I run a communications company um, with offices in New York and Medellin, Colombia. And I think what's really exciting for me about today and what we have lined up and all the people that I've had the opportunity to meet is that it basically comes down to two things, right? Three things. Number one, what is your hero story, right? Who are you? What makes you tick? Why do you do what you do? And why does that make a difference for other people? Number two, it comes down to what problem are you solving? Right? And what I've been hearing all morning from everybody that's been on the stage and from the networking events is everyone is basically trying to solve a problem. And I think that it's amazing that all of you guys are so rooted in practicality around the best way to build a million dollar business or the best way to build a sustainable business is to solve a problem for a million people. And number three, it all comes down to just that, right? People. Like I'm here today because of Khadija and because of these amazing organizers. And really, when you think about the things that make things successful, I think we can all agree that it's the people in our lives that make this thing so great. So the fact that you guys are all here today and you gals are all here today just goes to show that you believe in that as well. And I say just take advantage of that uh, connection and that human interaction. And it's just a real honor to be here with you guys today and to be on stage with my dear friend Khadija. And uh, so thank you, everyone. Can you guys give yourselves a round of applause for being here? Yeah, I've seen you spend a lot of time in Silicon Valley, has lived in, has lived in Silicon Valley, and worked with a lot of entrepreneurs in the Valley. I think what really like stood out was when you were saying, we just want to get eyes to the continent. And what's, what's interesting to me about that is that that means that there's good work happening. And right now, what I'm really scared about for Silicon Valley entrepreneurs is that we, they're lived, in the last six, seven, eight years, they've lived, literally lived through the best time to raise money, and that's changing like really rapidly. Investors aren't just throwing money at any idea. Like, there's, a, there's a demand and supply imbalance right now. There's tons of ideas, and so what really matters is the execution of ideas, and I think startup funds are gonna start to dry out a bit more in Silicon Valley in the next, I don't know what it's gonna be, one, two, three, four, five years, and what matters is that you built something that actually is solving a problem. So when you're saying, I want to get more people, I want to get the eyes on what's happening in Africa, that in and of itself already shows that Africa is winning. And maybe it's taking longer, like Cheryl was saying, maybe it's taking longer to get that attention and to see what's happening there. But eventually, the beautiful thing about the market is that the market is what decides. Right? It's, the market says, oh, you have a good idea. Oh, you have a good product. Oh, you're making my life easier, so therefore I'm going to pay money for it. And then, if you want to raise more money, great. But right now, so many entrepreneurs in Silicon Valley are building the machine to just raise more money, to raise more money, to raise more money, and eventually that's going to dry up. So like the practicality of that panel is exceptional. And I think that when we think about the next conversation, which is, there are three billion more people that are about to come online. That market gets even bigger and even more exciting. And if you have something that solves a problem for those billions of people that are putting in put trillions of dollars into the economy, then all of a sudden things really change for you. And that, I think, is something that's really exciting for the opportunity of entrepreneurship in this ecosystem. So with that being said, it's kind of a nice segue into our next speaker. Yeah. All right, so everyone, uh, we have a really exciting speaker on the way. Um, but I just kind of, again, the, what, the way that I'm viewing sort of what I'm doing here is to try to summarize the last 20 minutes into a, a minute or two of things that I think are really super important for all of us to think about. Um, and I think the first thing is like, when you go into an investment relationship, it's a relationship, right? Like if you, how many people in here have ever gotten money from a venture capitalist or an angel investor? Raise your hand. So you guys know, right? Like it's like a, it's a marriage, you know? And so the, at the very beginning of this conversation, there was this idea of look to see how invested the investor actually is, which I think is super important. Ask them what kind of connections they have. Ask them what kind of time they're willing to give to you, right? That's the first thing. 
And the second thing is, as you're looking for investment, right? Look to see what the investor is interested in investing in. Just because they're an investor doesn't necessarily mean that they want to invest in you. So do a little bit of homework. And the last thing I want to say is just this idea that this woman said, I think it was Ariel, she said, how can I basically help you? So this is all about networking, right? And the biggest value of networking is asking someone else what you can do for them and then figuring out how to deliver on that. So as you're kind of talking to people today, think about what do they need and how can I deliver that for them? Um, so those are, I think, the big three takeaways from another fantastic panel. And uh, Khadija, what else do you have?